I feel the bar of entry for a TikToker is much lower than a YouTuber. To be fair, that probably comes from a place of entitlement and more bitterness, and I'll happily admit that. This channel, Paralive, as I've said multiple times, is slop. It's whatever topic is happening in the past 12 to 24 hours, I'll talk about it, and then everyone forgets five minutes later. But the thing is, that being said, even though it is slop, and I definitely admit that, there is still some small smidgen of effort put into it. For example, when I research a topic, it takes me about 10 to 15 minutes to do so. Meanwhile, on TikTok, all you really need to do is recreate a popular dance that probably takes you two seconds to learn, or you could just harass people in public. And either way, you'll be showered in admiration. Now, I have talked about a lot of TikTok creators that I just do not like. For example, Mizzy, who, you know, would walk into people's homes, steal dogs for a prank. And the best thing is, I haven't talked about him for a while. He hasn't learned anything because recently he did the exact same thing, going into someone's apartment again because the door was left open. I saw a door that's open and I know, I know I went prison for this and I know it's spooky. I know this guy's going to say no, yeah, but bro, you have to do it. Bro. Walking into random houses, bro. Come on, bro. one more time bro. for the memes, for the bands, bro. for the guys, bro. In the outside movement. And then on the complete other side of the spectrum, you've got creators like Spidey. And that's more of like a fragile case. He's obviously someone with a really bad drug problem. He travels a lot from Australia to the UK, and you can tell he's just not in a good state of mind. But today I'm talking about someone very different. Someone who I personally believe is just inherently a bad person. So much so that recently he's actually had to take refuge on TikTok and Instagram because YouTube, they wanted nothing to do with him. They've banned him. And this creator is none other than Trey Sellers. Now, Trey actually came onto my radar because there was a prank that he did that's been reposted on loads of meme accounts. The prank in question is he would go up to people and basically say, I don't have any money, I'm hungry, would you be able to get me something to eat? Now, usually this is actually a very popular kind of like prank or social experiment on TikTok. Basically, the entire gist would be someone would be like, no, I don't have any money, sorry. They get rejected a lot of times. And then eventually someone would turn around and be like, yeah, I can pay for your food. And then the guy filming would be like, no, 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 that's fine. I just wanted to prove if you're a good person giving money to a complete stranger, here's $50 instead. Now, those kinds of videos do really well because you watch it and you go, oh, that was nice. The algorithm loves it because it's wholesome chungus content and it goes, viral everywhere. Now Trey puts a laugh out loud LMAO spin on this because basically he finds a couple and they are willing to pay for his food. They're going to give him five dollars for like a meal deal and then he basically says to them it's really good you did that because if not I would have killed you. Thank you so much for giving me that food. I want to give you this rock. <laughs> now if you didn't give me any money to get food mm -hmm. I would have bashed both your skulls in with that rock but I want to say life's about choices. And you made a valuable choice and the correct choice. You decided to spare money for that meal, and I decided to spare your lives. Oh. What are you talking about, bro? Spare my you life for what? You guys are super sweet. Are sweet. you fucking serious? Honey, honey, honey. Bro, get your shit in balance. You guys are really sweet, you know? Don't fucking talk I appreciate like that. that. How dare you, bro? Thank you. Oh, you're you lucky. You're a fucking kind gesture to buy yeah. yourself, and that's what you want? You want to hear what the fuck, bro? Fuck you, I'll take it. I, I know you're not complaining about that, but you're a big ass. Now, if you couldn't tell, the entire shtick of the comedy here is just subverting expectations. You expect it to be wholesome content, and it's not. It's just a death threat. I think the saddest thing about this whole situation as well is that couple that genuinely, you know, extended their gratitude to someone, they're probably not going to want to do that in the future. They're going to be very apprehensive of helping out anyone that, you know, genuinely needs support. Now, there was one prank in particular that Trey did that went viral, and this is uh, the lowest of the low. The couple's prank earlier, that, that is nothing compared to this. So what Trey basically did was he went to a Wendy's, he saw a homeless guy outside, and says to him, you know, do you want some food? And again, this is another very viral trend. People will film themselves getting food. It's a nice act. It really is. It does feel a little bit disingenuous that you've got like a camera team basically filming a, a TikToker or a creator giving food. It feels like they're being used a little bit, but you know, if they get food, if they benefit in some way, it's whatever. Trey, again, subverts this by going inside to get food for the guy only to eat it right in front of him. Los Angeles, California has the third biggest homeless population in the United States. And today it's my job to make sure there's one less hungry person on the streets. Hey, excuse me, sir. Hey, I was wondering, are you hungry by any chance, man? All right, man, I got you. Would you like a Baconator, fries, a drink? Is that cool? All right, what's your name, man? 
Israel, God bless you, Israel. I got you. I'll be right back, man. So the target has been acquired. You've got a homeless guy just sat outside of Wendy's smoking crack, just probably completely off his face. And again, Trey subverts your expectations in a wacky, laugh out loud, hilarious way. One combo, please. Yeah, what's up, bro? Yeah, man. I got you a, I got you a Sprite, you know, here, large fry. Got you a Baconator, man. I was homeless myself, so I, I want to make sure you get on the right path. You know, you're always able to, you know, get back on your feet. You know, so I, just, I want you to enjoy this. This is really good. All right, take care. Have a nice day. Wait, wait, what? What? Why aren't you laughing? That that was hilarious. He just ate food in front of a homeless guy and that homeless guy believed that he was going to get the food. I'm going to give that some Reddit gold. That's hilarious. I'm going to post that on R Funny, and that is going to be the top post of the week. It honestly really hurts to see the guy realize he's being pranked and then he just kind of like freezes up. And also, I do want to say, Trey isn't alone in this. Who thought it would be a good idea for this prank in particular to be the camera guy to film not only the homeless guy, but Trey? Now, unsurprisingly, after this, Trey got a fair bit of backlash, and I have never seen more God coping in my entire life. He basically put out a statement saying the entire video was faked, the guy that they knew was in on it, the homeless guy, and then he bought him food before the prank or after the prank. But then the video itself was edited to make Trey seem like the bad guy, like an asshole. Burger Wendy's video with the homeless guy was fake. His name is Israel. He was known around the neighborhood. My friend knew him. He said, yo, Israel, hey, can we get can we get you in this video? Can we get you in the skit? He said, yes, everything was scripted. It was a fake video. I'm not gonna apologize because you guys don't like my fake video. The same people getting mad are the same people who were mad at the Jeffrey Dahmer actor who played him in the series. So if you didn't understand that, his entire argument was basically, I was only pretending to be an asshole why do you think I'm an asshole? It's your fault for interpreting it that way, despite the video being edited like that. And unsurprisingly, that excuse, where he basically just said I was only pretending to be a moron, completely backfired as well. So what do you think he did then? Did he do a well-constructed response video? Did he take accountability? Did he apologize? Nope. He tried to fake his death, and he did this by having his editor post a story on his Instagram saying they were trying to film another prank, and unfortunately, <laughs> Trey died. On Saturday afternoon, we were recording a video in Inglewood when someone got upset with something he said and Trevon was stabbed twice. He was in critical condition for a while and around 4.27pm we were informed he didn't make it. This is not a joke or a game. This was followed with a YouTube video being posted titled The Life of Trevon Sellers. So this is it. Trevon is dead. But as we know recently, Trevon Sellers. Without a doubt. So that's honestly my biggest fear and I won't let that happen. Yeah, bro is so young. God bless his soul. You think you might know who did it? Man, rest in peace Trayvon, bro. But yeah, obviously he came out afterwards saying, lol, I pranked you again. I I'm such a hilarious troll. And again, it's just rage baiting. But that wasn't the end of his absolutely hilarious top tier pranks. Like the time where he went into a supermarket and just started harassing some random woman there. Hi. Hi, why are you touching me? Because you smell so good. Okay, uh, no thank you. Can I maybe smell you? I see that you're doing some sort of weird psychology experiment, but if you put your hands on me again, I will call the fucking police. Get away from you me. You smell like a beautiful vanilla candle. Help! Ray! Don't do that. <laughs> Help! I'm being attacked! Oh my god. This is, this is gold, by the way. Keep going. Keep going. Say say he's black. Say he's black. Um, don't you have security in this store? I went to get chicken nuggets, ma'am. You were next to the chicken nuggets, and I went like that on the side. I didn't even touch you. So he grabbed my body. <laughs> what body? <laughs> You know the worst thing is about Trey in this whole situation? He has actually gave me a scenario where I'm more likely to side with the Karen than to side with him. Now, I can definitely see some people saying that her screaming rape is like a complete overreaction, which is fair. But at the same time, if you're in a supermarket and you have a guy filming you and like, you know, touching your hair and stuff being very weird, you don't know what else he's going to do. It is completely unhinged behavior. Now, you're probably thinking, how can he one-up that? How can he one-up faking his own death, harassing people in public? Oh, 
He can. So at one point, he realized harassing people just doesn't cut it anymore. It doesn't get the dopamine running. Everyone's doing it now. Every 16-year-old kid on TikTok is like, you know, walking into the back of like McDonald's or like, like Tesco's. So to try and one-up himself, what he did was he got a gasoline canister, filled it with water, and started covering people's cars with it, acting like it was actual gasoline, and he was going to set their cars on fire. And the craziest thing about all of this is there's one guy who, you know, he's doing the prank to, covering his car in water, believed to be gasoline, and he pulls out a gun, and this guy actually shows much more restraint, despite having a loaded firearm, than Trey ever has in his entire prank career. Come on, man. Burning your car down, bro. Fuck your car, man. Over. All of this. Yeah. Uh-huh. Why do you want to do it? Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, bro. Kanye 2020. Kanye 2020. Do what? <laughs> It better be water, partner, or you're one dead son of a bitch. You stay out of this. Yeah, I don't think you want to do that. I don't want to do that. You almost died, you stupid son of a bitch. Fuck you, pussy. Now again, I do want to say, thank God Uncle Fester shown a bit of restraint there, because if not, Trey would have been seeing a quick time event into heaven. But yeah, I just wanted to talk about this guy because his pranks are just, there's no funny. There's no funny. I've seen a lot of pranksters where they go and like harass people in public, and then at least there's some kind of bit of sweet resolution, like they'll be like, oh, bro, there's a camera there, oh, here's $50. The people being pranked are still probably pissed off, but at least they, they benefit in some way. This guy's just an asshole to everyone he meets. Oh wait, no, sorry, he's not an asshole. He's only pretending to be. My, my bad, my bad, I, I, I apologize there.